Hello, my fellow truth seekers. Welcome to the truth show. My name is Keisha and I will reveal secrets of toxic relationship in this video. As someone who have personally, who has personally experienced toxic relationships, I know what signs to look out for. I am also aware of the shady behaviors that are often associated with them. Oh yes. So sit back and get ready to uncover the truth about Kiki Palmer and Darius. Oh, I'm about to go in people. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you've read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. As most of you know, I've never sided with either side. I'm more interested in a person's facts, actions, and history, i.e. the big picture, okay? First, let's find out who Lauren Kiana Palmer, aka Kiki Palmer, really is. That's her name. Her real name is Lauren. Kiki Palmer has proved herself beyond measure since breaking into the spotlight as a child. A true powerhouse. Palmer's talents cut across acting, singing, and even television hosting. Between 2019 and 2020, the former Nickelodeon star co-hosted the ABC daytime show Strahan, Sarah and Kiki, a role which earned her an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Entertainment Talk Show host. Oh, yes. Alongside hard work, Palmer can trace her success to one thing, manifestation. So she said, for me, I've been working in the industry for a really long time. I've learned that you have to say and speak what you want into existence, along with doing the work. She said of her success to E, news, daily, pop via morning, honey. Okay. Which is true. You have to say it, say it, keep saying it. And then of course work toward getting and it shall come true. Oh yes. But while Palmer has garnered much success, the actor slash singer has racked up her fair share of controversies over the years. Oh yes. In 2023, Palmer filed a restraining order against her boyfriend, Darius Jackson, whom she accused of physical and emotional abuse. Darius allegedly grabbed her prescription eyeglasses away from her. So she said he grabbed her eyeglasses away from her, threw them on the ground and stumped on them. She said, he then opened my bag, threw all of my belongings into the pavement in the rain and threw my car keys across the parking lot before he got into his own car and drove away. Mm -hmm. But not all of her controversies have had her as the victim. There is no denying that Palmer has been downright shady on a few occasions. Okay. It seems in July, 2023, Kiki Palmer made a made headlines after getting called out by her then boyfriend, Darius Jackson, over her choice of outfit to Usher's Las Vegas residency. And it since deleted post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Jackson criticized Palmer's sheer dress at the event's writing. It's the outfit though. You a mom. The fitness instructor then followed it up with a tweet explaining that he was only trying to protect his family dignity. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. He deleted this post, but that's pretty much what he said. Do you understand? Um, Kiki Palmer literally left her baby in Los Angeles. I believe that's what she said to fly to Las Vegas. And I made this blatantly clear to go to a concert. <laughs> her baby was maybe what? barely four months old or five months old, barely that, to go to a concert of Usher and the dress she had on, yes, it was sheer, but her butt was showing. It was a thong garter or whatever you call those things that you put on these, whatever. That's just, it was, it was a thong. So her butt cheeks was showing. That's what she was wearing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So y'all can say it's freedom, speech, liberation, all the hell you want, but no, 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 I'm sorry. I still stand what I believe. No, is there's a level of decorum, but let me just continue here. Unsurprisingly, Jackson public called out Garner mixed reactions from social media fans. You know, some saying yada, yada, however, but I'm not going to even go into all that crap. Despite the negative attention, however, Palmer decided to make the most of the situation and cash out while at it. Oh yeah. She, this is what she said. I'm a mother and a Stevie to the bull, whatever shirts available now. This is how she wrote. She captioned an Instagram video featuring her son, Leotis. I can continue, but I think you all get the picture. 
You see, Kiki is a very outspoken person and no offense, she needs some class. Most of us already know this already, but let's explore their relationship a little bit deeper. What is Darius accusing Kiki of? Let's go to his side of the, the story because we are just seeing her side. Let's see what he has to say. It seems that Kiki Palmer's ex-boyfriend and baby daddy, Darius Jackson, is flipping a script on their domestic violence scandal. Mm -hmm. It seems that new court documents obtained by the blast reveal that the fitness instructor has filed for a restraining order against their re -owned entertainer in response to allegations of domestic violence. In the filing, Jackson alleges that Palmer was the primary aggressor and engaged in abusive conduct throughout their two and a half year relationship. They was only together for two and a half years, y'all. This is why Darius is seeking a modification to the current custody arrangement that has the mother of his son, Leotis Adulatin Jackson, as the sole custodian. Okay. On that, this is what he points out, and I quote. I believe it is in our son's best interest for petitioner and I to share custody. I am requesting a court order joint legal and physical custody. Kiki has refused to allow me to see Leotis since obtaining a temporary restraining order. My offer to have visitations monitored was rejected and she has unilaterally eliminated any and all access. As Kiki being the alleged aggressor, Jackson claims she subjected him to both physical and verbal abuse, including allegations of punching, choking, and hitting him on various occasions, as listed with specific dates in these documents. One specific instance, he asserts that his ex made over 200 calls and sent over 50 emails after he informed her he would not spend the night with her in November 2021. He shared that he changed his phone number in March 2022 to avoid her alleged harassment and threats. Mm -hmm. And then as previously reported, Jackson countersuit cites instances of alleged abuse Kiki. He this is what he recalls. He recalls on August 20th, 2021, Lauren punched Darius in the face at a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Just two months later, he asserted that Palmer violently gripped his arm to prevent him from leaving her house. My gosh. The 30-year-old father discloses that Palmer harassed him with phone calls and text messages. And then on November 17th, 2021, after Darius told her he would not spend the night with her, Lauren called him over 200 times and sent him over 50 emails. As I just stated, this was this filing stated, Palmer also allegedly choked and used derogatory terms toward her child's father, such as the B-I-T-C-H, punk at blah, 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 and loser. As for the Hollywood star's alleged physical and verbal abuse, he notes that it often happened after Palmer's alcohol, which made her agitated and aggressive. He claims that during it, August 2021 incident, when Palmer supposedly punched him, she had been drinking. Oh, yeah. Petitioner punched me in the face. This is what he said. Petitioner punched me in the face at a birthday party. Her friend, Lenoria Addison, was present and tried to stop Kiki later. Of course, later, Kiki apologized. I can go on and on, but I think you all get the picture. But then it was, if y'all remember, back in the day, she accused Trey Songs of sexual intimidation to get Palmer to appear in a music video. First of all, I believe this because I've seen videos of Trey Songs. He should be in jail by now, but he seemed to be another uh, person who does these little sexual advances on people and get away with it. I mean, this is what, what was said. It seems like after songs whose real name is Tremaine Neverson released a video for his remix with Fabulous to the Travis Scott and Young Thug song, Pick Up the Phone, Palmer claims she didn't authorize the singer to include her cameo. Here's what she said. This is preposterous. How am I in this video, Trey, after you found me in a closet hiding because I was so afraid of any more conflict. My last option was to hide because you would not listen when I said I did not want to be in the video in the first time. Just because you give someone food and alcohol, throw in a little sexual intimidation doesn't mean they will buckle. Parma also claimed that although the two have known each other for many years, Song secretly filmed her and put in the video against her wishes. That's what she said. In the video, Parma makes a short appearance taking selfies on her phone while sitting on her couch However, the music video now appears to have been taken down. Kiki, was it really that serious? My gosh. Then we see the presence candles leaked with Sean Combs, which was accusing Kiki Palmer of having sexual orgies, relations with women, especially with Cassie Ventura. 
Palmer has admitted on several occasions to being bisexual or just gay. And many people have admitted on several occasions that Kiki is known to be getting these little girls and they have these little sexual origins. She's wild. She's not the innocent girl y'all claim to be. I heard stuff on the street, which is why I have this opinion about her. Seriously. Oh, and there's more. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with her being bisexual. I mean, nothing wrong at all. Nothing wrong with her liking these wild sex things as long as they're innocent and they're not hurting anybody or not um, against anyone will to do them. Everyone has to be in agreement in a level mind state, not drug induced to agree to these orgies. Okay. But here is my analysis of the situation. Kiki Palmer is very outspoken and needs some class and decorum, no matter what attempts she makes to retain and polish her image. She is a fantastic actress, singer, dancer, and just a ball of talent. Huge fan, but I can't get past her demeanor and attitude and severe lack of decorum. It's appalling at times. Reading all this drama, I was like, oh, I'm getting a headache. Seriously. I mean, I still can't fathom how a beautiful, talented young lady can be this gifted, but for a lack of a better word, be very ghetto. And I'm not speaking the words actual meaning, but in slang. You would think after all of these years, she would have learned something, no offense. This makes me think of the time she insulted Megala food proportions. Yes, the first class way of dinner is slightly acute. They believe in the taste, not the proportions, you know? It's all about the taste. You know how the whole thing goes. Having a full plate isn't a proper standard. Yeah. So you would think she knows this. She's been around the elite since she was a freaking kid. But yeah, she talks very, you know what? I'm not going, I'm not going there. I'm just going to end this critique here by saying it's hard to believe just one side of the story when a person who is accusing has a history of not being very honest, very rude and immature at times, and seems to love drama and presents herself as someone who can't obtain her sense of decorum. And I'm speaking of personal experience. I do believe that Darius and Kiki had a toxic relationship. It seemed like they were young in love, didn't know how to uh, retract or act out their emotions. So they did crazy and overreacting and chaotic things. That's what it seems like to me. They fought each other, they hit each other, they got drunk. It was just ridiculously crazy, okay? Keywords, each other, okay? I also believe that Kiki used her current drama with the Vegas situation and star quality to win her custody and restraining order case against Darius. I mean, think about it. If you heard what I was saying, Darius, Darius even agreed to monitor visitations and Kiki allegedly refused which lets me know this case is merely to hurt Darius. It has nothing to do with the baby. She's supposed to be a person who abstained being a single mom and, you know, visitations and yada, 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 but she's not, you know, upholding her end of the bargain. She's acting once again, like, a, you know, I'll let you fill in the blanks. Okay. <laughs> which makes me further believe his claims as well. No offense intended. This comes from personal experience. I had to deal with baby mothers and fathers just like Kiki and Darius, trust me. And it gets real dark, the stories and the crap they had to deal with. Trust me, I know, okay? So good luck to them both. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you get notifications for when I do post my videos. See y'all later. Love you all. Bye.